Alright guys, this is JLo138 and I'm going to show you how to run Mario Kart Grand Prix that was on the arcade machines that were released in Japan only as well as F-Zero AX and both Virtua Strikers. Now this demonstration is only going to show you how to run the Mario game which the other ones it is the same method. You don't. There's nothing different about it. They're just going to be in your games folder. Now this is also assuming you have the homebrew channel on your Wii and this would be much easier if you already have Dios Mios or Dios Mios Lite installed then the steps would be a lot easier I'm not gonna go through and do a full tutorial but I will provide you with the WAD files alright here we go this also will install Quad Force, you will need Dios Mio's booter as well, still, even after installing this. So I'm going to provide you with the WADs for uh, Quad Force as well, and that's what you're going to need. It's going to overwrite your your Mio's on your Wii, so if you, have, if you play GameCube disc, then you're not going to be able to. It can be undone or fixed by reinstalling the RVL Mios version 10 WAD, which I will also provide you. And uh, same thing goes if you have Dios Mios or the Lite version installed. This will overwrite it. And every time you want to play GameCube games from that same hard drive or SD card, depending on what your method is, you're going to have to reinstall that WAD again. And if you want to go back to playing these arcade games, you're going to have to do the same thing, reinstall the WAD. So I'm going to the WAD manager. You already know that. I use iOS or iOS version 2.49. Nan emulator device for me, it's disabled. And the source, that's where your um, your WAD file is going to be located. Mine's in the SD slot. And so now I go down to my WAD folder. And then I install, let's well, way down here. Quad Force 4.1. Quad Force 4.1 is if you're going to load the games through a USB hard drive, you can use the same hard drive as your GameCube games because they're going to be formatted the same way when you download them and you'll see that. And if you use Quad Force 4.0, then that is for SD loading. So just remember that. I'm going to install. It's okay. Go back. And just so you know, whenever I start whenever I installed this. I cannot play GameCube games from my hard drive at the moment. I would have to reinstall Dios Mios to continue doing that. I'll show you. We put in a GameCube controller. I'm using WaveBird, and by the way, if you you might have to hold a button on the WaveBird whenever you go to load it. These are my GameCube games that I have on the hard drive, and as well you will see um, Mario Kart Arcade, Grand Prix, and Grand Prix Two. In order to play these, like I said, you have to install Quad Force. None of these other ones will run right now. If you click on it, your Wii will just shut off until you reinstall. Dios Mios or Light if you're using SD. Uh, of that. And right here, I believe you press nothing. You don't have to press anything. And this is right on my hard drive. Press A button right there. I didn't press anything. Gotta confirm. Okay. 
Can't use the camera because this was on an arcade machine. So, I've never actually played the Grand Prix, but I'll do that for you. I'm not going to play a full game. I might do a couple of laps or something. And every time the gas pedal, you just press the A button. Your actual gas to drive is R, and your drift button, or hop and drift, is your L trigger on your controller. I didn't know what button you could use to throw the weapon. Let's see if I can hold this. Not sure how to get out of it other than you hit no and it, it, it saves your game data but what's going to happen is your console is just going to keep freezing at this you can't get out of what's happening right now so you have to restart your Wii in order to get out of it but don't worry it actually saves your data anyway so I'm going to have to uh, power down my Wii and then I'll restart it. And uh, I'll go back to the homebrew channel. And I'll show you how easy it is real quick to undo it. Because you want to play your GameCube games again. Go back to your WAD manager. Do the same thing as before. Uh, for me, it's iOS 2.49. And then it's disabled for me. And then it's SD slot. And then I go to my WAD folder. Or WADS folder. And Dios Mios. I got the newest version a couple months back, or a few months back, whatever it was, and it's 2.6, and remember the light version here and here, there's different versions, but the newest one. That is if you want to run your GameCube games from your SD slot. And I don't, I run mine from the external hard drive. And by the way, your memory card or your external hard drive has to be formatted in FAT32 with 64 kilobyte clusters, if I'm not mistaken. It could be 32 kilobyte clusters. So don't get me on that one. But it has to be done in one of those. And I, but I do believe it is 64 kilobyte clusters. And, you're, and Windows does not have an option to format it for you. You're going to need a program for that, and I do not remember for the life of me what program I used. And I'm installing. Now we're back. Hit the home button. Now I can go back to um, Dios Mio's Booter.
like I said, I'll give you the DS Mills booter, I'll give you the the light version wad and the quad force and the I'll give you all that. And I will give you links in the description so you can download those games. Let me go to one of my my favorite games. Well, let me use my wave first, so Crazy Taxi. You can even see the Nintendo logo. See? And there we go. If I would have done this before reinstalling the Wi Fi, the Wii would have shut off. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe as always. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Some people say they have issues messaging me. So just leave it in the comments. I'm not sure what that's about. And um, check the description. Read the description before you ask your question. And also don't know everything. I'll try to help you as much as I can. And I'm out.